Hotepu everyone, welcome to this installment of the initiation program of the Golden Beetle. My name is King Ra Sumapa Ibabe, and I come to you to bring the teachings of the system brought through me from my ancestors, called the Golden Beetle of Ra, spiritual system. This system is made for gay people, by gay people, and its teachings can speak to all people, because light is light and wisdom helps us all. The goal of this series of videos is to introduce you to our teachings. In particular, what's called our cosmology, or our basic overall principles and philosophies. First, imagine for a minute what you want out of life most of all. When you get down to it, it's happiness. You want peace. You want meaning in your life, whether you're heterosexual or gay, no matter your race, we all have the same drive to find peace and happiness. But many times we have a strategy of how to get it. For example, imagine happiness as a set of streets, of roads, and there are different shops along the roads. Perhaps in your road, the shop called Alcohol is what you think will bring you happiness. So you take that road and you go shopping in there thinking when you come out, you have happiness. Or maybe you think it's love or a relationship or an education or money. So for you, happy road is a road filled with places of getting money. You go in, you shop, you do your thing in there and you realize maybe that's not what will make me happy in the end. So each and every one of you are walking down some road that you feel will bring you happiness. That's a high risk though. It may be true, and it may not be true. It may be partially true. It is such a risky thing to leave to chance. So the people of Kemet, the great sages and masters of Kemet, left what's called a paut, or map, to the road of happiness of true spiritual fulfillment. And there is no way that you can find happiness without spirituality, without your soul coming along the way on that road of happiness. So these pa'ut or mandalas are these maps of your spirit of how to get from where you are to true undying happiness and fulfillment. The map is key. So, the Kamau encoded their maps in their scriptures. These pauti are hidden in various texts of creation, in various texts of the Book of the Dead, the Pyramid texts. And so I spent many years decoding these texts and finding their main theme. And their main theme is, happiness comes from finding the light within. And as we'll see later on, this is no mere metaphor. Your astrology chart is made of light. It is stars and planets. And by finding the light within you eventually through your chart, you will find happiness. You will find your way home. So, the pa'ut are in various levels of expression from the beginning of time to right now. So, we have a sequencing or a hierarchy of the pa'uti and I wish to review with you the main pauti. The first one is called the Zuhet. The Zuhet. So what you're seeing here in this image is what's called before the first day or pre-creation. This is the map of bliss. This is the map of being all you can be. It shows you image by image exactly how to ensure that you are fully fulfilled. You have a peace that nothing can disturb. Imagine that a peace that nothing can touch. No storm, no disease, no loss no death in your family, 
you still find peace and bliss from the divine within you, called the Zuhet. The word Zuhet in Rinkan or Egyptian means egg. This is the pre-creation egg, and it came from the town called Kenen, the city of eight, called also in Greek Hermopolis. This is the place where the priests discover how to unleash your unlimited possibilities, how to help the Kemetic people be their fullest and best selves. So visualize for a moment, no matter what you've gone through, you're at peace. No matter how tough life is, you find the possibility within you to rise and conquer, to be a champion, no matter what. Come with me. To ensure this, you must know the map. And these gods you see here in this somewhat of a family tree diagram are literally a DNA code, a blueprint of living in the zone, of being all you can be. For example, there are moments in your life you can recall when you were really into something. You were singing or dancing or reading a book or listening to music and you got lost. You lost yourself in the act. Where did you go? You went to Zuhet. You went to the zone. And the zone is your origin. It is the source of all of your power and of all possibilities. So through this pa'ut, this map, you can find a way around anything. Nothing can get you. Nothing can pull you down whatsoever. So the next pa'ut is called the pa'ut of Khebera, the beetle of creation. The Pa'ut of Becoming. The first Pa'ut, the Zuhet, the egg of the zone, the egg of living your life fully, being present in the moment, that is Zuhet. That's a very peaceful, calm place. That should be your first reaction to all of life's challenges. Calm and peace. I'm in the zone, I can handle this, I've got this. The Kepera Pa'ut tells you how creation happened, where you came from how your life works, what are the laws of life, what is the game that is life. The Pa'ut of Kepara reveals this through the science of fractals. Now once you learn fractals, it will blow your mind. They are so beautiful and they are so true. And they've decoded the mystery of how to make fractal geometry an actual spiritual path of enlightenment. Now, I must correct that by saying we have not invented this at all. We called it back from ancient Kemet through trance and prayer and meditation. The ancestors revealed back to my person how this worked in ancient days. It is stunning. When you see from Kepara that your life is nothing but a series of patterns, patterns repeating. For example, you know how you oftentimes do the same things over and over and over. You date the same kind of person, you eat the same kinds of foods, you speak the same kind of way, you have habits. These habits came from somewhere, past lives, from your ancestors, from your great-great-grandmother, grandfather, from your parents, and they keep repeating over and over and over, similarly with a tweak, slightly different. The Kepara Pa'ut from the town called Anu or Heliopolis reveals that your life is a journey of developing better patterns, improving yourself by making better patterns or habits. It's a fantastic pa'ut. Within the pa'ut of kepara, of creation or becoming, recall the zuhet, the egg of pre-creation, is being. Kepara is becoming. Within kepara is the pa'ut of doing. And this pa'ut comes from a town called Ketmin. And this pa'ut deals with personality and archetypes. How archetypes came to be in the universe. Now, what's an archetype? It's your moods, your feelings. When you're feeling hot and romantic, that's the archetype of Meow the cat coming alive in you. 
When you're in school and you're feeling curious and you want to learn, that's a pa'ut of Akwat, the jackal, or the baboon. If you're feeling very philosophical, that's the archetype of Ma'atihuti, the ibis man. When you're fighting and feeling you have to protect yourself, that is the archetype of Mahus, the inner warrior. So it's through the Pa'ut of Anu, Heliopolis, that we learn that everything in the universe has a personality. When you travel, you have a feeling sometimes that this place has a certain personality to it, or this river has a certain feel to it. A storm has a certain personality to it. Rain, hurricane, wind, you feel these things. These are called the Neteru. These are called the gods. These are called the angels. So in this Pa'ut you learn that you are an angel. In fact, you have 12 basic angels inside of you. Wouldn't it be wonderful to know how to speak with them? Each angel brings you a talent. Each angel brings you a science. But that's more detailed in the Pa'ut of humans coming up next. So, quick review. The Zuhet, the first Pa'ut, the Pa'ut of possibilities. Living in the zone, being all you can be. The next Pa'ut was a Pa'ut of Kepera, the Pa'ut of becoming, of creation and creativity, and how your life is a journey of working out patterns and habits. Within the Pa'ut of Kepara, we have the Pa'ut of Anu Heliopolis, the Pa'ut of personality, the Pa'ut of how things go in cycles, spring, summer, fall, winter. Your marriage goes through spring, summer, fall, winter phase. Your friendships, your whole life follows the cycle of personality changing through a seasonal fluctuation. So we go on now to the next Pa'ut, this is the most important pa'ut for humans. It is called the pa'ut of humans, the pa'ut of the remu. Now, the human pa'ut is the most important one. It is quite involved, quite complex. Not so hard to follow because it's natural, and you will feel the organic nature of it. So this pa'ut has several embedded pa'uti in it. The first one is called the pa'ut of wasata, of thieves. In that pa'ut, it talks about Amu, Ra, and Pata. This little map shows you what many philosophers have failed to do, how to actually see the Creator, although He's invisible. How some would say how to actually see God, how to prove it scientifically, that the Creator is real. Then we have the Pa'ut of Ra, Sumabhata Devi, my person, within this Pa'ut of the humans. And you see an image of a zodiac, a central circle, line of circles, and then a tree of life. At the base of that line of circles, you see a small plank that's called Ma'a. And these are all united by this winged figure eight that you see here on the screen. It is this part that is the key to human enlightenment. This is the path, what we call the gay hero's adventure, the adventure of life. The zodiac wheel we have the chakras in the middle, and we have the tree of life on the other side. We start with the chakras, which I call the fuels of success. They are the elements in you, earth, water, air, fire. Earth being your money, your coin. Water being your sense of gender and sexuality. Fire being your external success power. And air being your power of being social. Through the chakras, you learn to make money, to deal with your sexuality, to be successful externally, and to connect with people and be humanitarian. These chakras fuel 
the element in the zodiac chart, the wheel you see there, the zodiac wheel. This is the wheel of the Twelve Labors, the Gay Hero's Adventure. This wheel has so much information in it, it's mind-boggling. It is truly what is called in fractals a bound infinity. You can zoom into this wheel, or any of these Pauti, in fact, forever. And I mean that literally, forever. But we have broken it down to make it digestible and easy to follow. But through these 12 zodiac signs, the Ram of Aries, the Bull of Taurus, all the way to the 12th sign of the Fish of Pisces, you learn how to improve yourself, how to improve your consciousness and become enlightened through the tests of your chart and of your chart's transits, meaning when the planets move throughout the year, they affect you in predictable and precise ways. Basically, you want to see your life as like college. You come to Earth to major in something. That's called your destiny reading, your life path reading. And then you have classes, and classes have teachers. The classes are 12 in number. They are the zodiac signs. The lords of those signs are the teachers. So you have an inner warrior class, your self-defense class, you have your money class, you have your studies class, you have your class for family. Things you must learn, experiences you must go through and venture on. And how you'll do is determined by the conditions of the planets in your chart. So we break this down very, very easily and very, very intricately so you can know exactly why you're going through what you're going through. It is this power of the zodiac, the adventure of life, where you get the answer to the question, when things go wrong, why me? Why is this happening to me? Do I deserve this? Well, by looking at your chart, what's called the wheel of light within you, you will find the answer to it. Then we have the tree of life, what I call the tree of eternal gay rainbow life, the Kabbalah, some call it. This tree is for the ancestors. So if you look at the line of circles of the chakras as the Nile River, the zodiac wheel is the east bank of the living, and the tree of life is for the dead. That tree teaches you about your afterlife and your dream life, meaning when you fall asleep into the dream world. It's important you know what happens after you lose your physical body. There are eight other bodies still existing. What happens to them? Where do they go? What do you do when you're over there? That tree tells you the truths of life beyond the physical plane. That little platform you see beneath the circle of chakras represents Orion. Orion in his form called Sahu, which many people know today as Bazi or Chinese astrology, but we had the very, in fact, the Chinese astrology came from Kemet. The word Sahu means Orion. It also means property, real estate, or land. And the Sahu mysteries deal with what's called your Shahut, your aura, your meridians. The meridians are your vitality, your energy level. So by doing certain movements and sounds to your organs, called the canopic jars and tenet, and keeping your organs healthy through qigong movements, certain sounds, dietary nutrition, herbs and roots, you begin to improve your life's karmas from an energetic level. So many people take coffee or they try all kinds of things to stimulate their energy, when all you need is breath, movement, sound. And then finally, at the base, you see a scroll in this image. And this scroll is the Shabaka stone text, written by the Pharaoh Shabaka. This text deals with bliss work, following your bliss. The text is stunning in telling you the benefits and powers when you do a job that you love, a job that makes a difference in the world, a job that brings you joy. This text was written 
as the final text of the African black kings of Egypt. And they knew back then that the Africans would be under a terrorism of slavery, hard work, forced labor. So the last great text revived and refurbished, it was, it was an ancient text, but it was revived by Shabaka, was to tell us, no matter what you go through, in the end you will find your divine path of work, your life's calling. So we have you learn that text, we initiate you to that text, to push you, always pushing you, to do the work you know your heart longs to do, the work that makes the difference that only you can make. So we have the paut of the zuhet, of unlimited possibilities, living in the zone of being all you can be without limits. We have the kebra paut of creativity, how to be creative and know how life actually works, the real rules of life. We had the paut of an, of personality, and the creation of cycles of all things, ups and downs. Life will go up and down, up and down. Next, we have the human paut, which contains the paut of the chakras, the fuels of success. We have the paut of the wheel of light, the zodiac wheel, of the hero's adventure, the twelve labors we must all carry. We have the Pa'ut of Sahu Orion, the Pa'ut of our meridians and of our organs. We have the Pa'ut of the afterlife, of the ancestors, the tree of life, the tree of the afterlife, in fact, where you must learn the laws of the ancestors and of your afterlife existence. Finally, we have the Pa'ut of Shabaka, the Pa'ut of follow your bliss, do the work, you know that only you can do, and it makes your heart sing. So, we're going to go through each of these pa'uti, one by one, in full detail. I am releasing this publicly to the world to allow the world to share in the blessings that have been sent to my person by the gay ancestors of the Nile Valley of Kemet. I welcome all gay men of the world to embrace these teachings, to find spiritual food, spiritual hope, and spiritual love in them. I also invite all people around the world, no matter what your persuasion is, or your race, or your condition in life, I truly wish that these teachings help you find out who you are and find the light within you. Finally, I wish to say, there are two key words in any spiritual system. They are destiny and life path. Destiny means destination. We all have the same destination as humans. Our destination is to become enlightened. Why are we not animals? Why are we not plants? Why are we not mineral? Why are we a different kingdom? We are the human kingdom. Because we have a gift that no other kingdom has. That's mind. We have unlimited consciousness, unlimited awareness and intelligence. That's our niche. That's our speciality. So as a result, we must learn to make our mind, it's called the noumenal world, our mind, our true power. Mind over matter. And through enlightened mind, we can learn to deal with the things of the earth. Hurricane, storm, disease, plague, animals attacking us, spiders biting us. Nature is full of power. We are no match for the forces of nature, a tsunami or a hurricane. Yet, we do have something to help us through all that. That's our intelligence, our minds. So as humans, we all have the same destination, enlightened consciousness, enlightened mind. How each and every one of us get there, that's personal, that's unique. That's called your life path. So destiny for humans is one, enlightenment. How we get there is as varied as there are people on this earth. And through these pa'uti, you learn both. You learn how to become enlightened in consciousness through your own way, through your own personal experience and needs. And this, I feel, is the true blessing of the Golden Beetle system. 
It allows for universality and absolute individuality. We encourage individuality within the context of the unity. So, we'll go through each pa'ut in future parts of this video in detail, for free, online. And I pray they bring light, hope, and blessings to all. Ankh Uja Sanu. Ankh means eternal life to you. Uja means eternal wealth to you. Sanu, may you have golden, radiant health. I welcome you all. Thank you so much for your time. And may the light of Kemet and of the gay shamans of Kemet bring blessings to all. We look forward to speaking with you very soon. Stay tuned. Dwa'a wa'a